Dazzling Duchess. Kate Middleton wows on BAFTA red carpet alongside Prince William as she recycles a white and gold gown by Alexander McQueen for the awards. The Duchess of Cambridge stole the show in white as she walked the red carpet alongside a host of A-listers at the BAFTAs for the fourth year running. Looking every inch the film star alongside her husband Prince William, 37, Kate Middleton, 38, dazzled in a stunning white and gold gown by Alexander McQueen for the star-studded event, recycling a dress she first wore in 2012. Ahead of this year's ceremony, BAFTA bosses had urged attendees to dress sustainable and encouraged to re-wear outfits, hire gowns or don vintage ensembles for the occasion. The mother of three added a touch of glamour to the outfit by pairing it with new accessories, including a new pair of shimmering 525 pounds Jimmy Choo glitter heels and an Anya Hind March clutch bag, as well as a new jewellery set, for 73rd Annual Lee British Academy Film Awards at the Royal Albert Hall this evening. The couple, who have made it their tradition to attend the biggest night in UK cinema each year, beamed at one another as they took a seat alongside a host of other celebrities at the awards ceremony. The couple have made their attendance a yearly occasion, with this year marking the fourth time in a row they have walked the red carpet at the event. The Duchess donned the stunning Alexander McQueen gown, having first worn the stunning gold and white dress during a tour of Malaysia in 2012. The designer is a favorite for Kate, who has often stepped out in the British brand over the years. The white gown was a bespoke piece made for the Malaysia visit in 2012, and is covered in gold Malaysian hibiscus flowers and layered over white flowing fabric. The dress had been slightly amended for the BAFTA event, with the original sheer cap sleeves replaced with a more structured shoulder. Meanwhile the Duchess also showed off some new jewellery on the red carpet sweeping her locks back into an intricate bun to reveal a set of Van Cleef and Arpels dangling earrings and a drop necklace, which came with a price tag of £7,603. She sported glamorous makeup with a pink lipstick and a dark smoky eye, and swept her hair into an intricate updo. While Kate dazzled in the stunning white and gold gown, Prince William also looked dapper in a bow tie and black dinner suit which he had also worn before with a pair of smart black loafer shoes. Ahead of the event, all attendees were provided with a guide by London College of Fashion for Sustainability, and it was widely speculated that Kate would wear or recycle one of her many stunning gowns. The couple appeared overjoyed to be attending the event for the fourth year in a row, beaming as they walked the red carpet at the star-studded occasion. Holding her dress up slightly as she negotiated the steps. Kate appeared to thank a well-wisher who told her you look beautiful, while another added you too will. Celebrities and stars including Best Actor nominee Joaquin Phoenix rose to their feet as the royal couple made their entrance into the Royal Albert Hall this evening. They could be seen sharing a smile with one another as they took a seat at the event ahead of the awards ceremony. Later they rose to their feet to offer actor Andy Serkis a standing ovation as he won a contribution to Cinema Award. Earlier this month, the Duke attended a meeting with commissioning editors from across the broadcast industry to discuss the environment, the impact it will have on the programs they create, and the way in which TV and programming can have a positive impact on repairing the planet. And both His Royal Highness and the Duchess have supported BAFTA's charitable activities by attending events across the charity's learning programs, including young game designers and BAFTA Kids events as well as others related to building cross-cultural collaborations with the creative industries in China. Prince William, who is celebrating his 10th as the president of BAFTA, presented its highest accolade, the Fellowship, to Star Wars producer Kathleen Kennedy this evening. The American film producer started her career working on E.T. the Extraterrestrial, and most recently has worked on the Star Wars series. The Duke of Cambridge addressed issues around diversity before presenting Kathleen with the BAFTA Award. He praised the exceptional filmmaking that had been highlighted during the ceremony, and reflected on his ten years as BAFTA president, joking that he did not know if he should be proud or slightly alarmed at how many of the winners over the past decade have portrayed members of my own family. William said, both here in the UK and in many other countries across the world we are lucky to have incredible filmmakers actors, producers, 
directors and technicians, men and women from all backgrounds and ethnicities enriching our lives through film. Yet in 2020, and not for the first time in the last few years, we find ourselves talking again about the need to do more to ensure diversity in the sector and in the awards process, that simply cannot be right in this day and age. He continued, I know that both Bipa, Harris, Chair of BAFTA and Amanda, Barry, BAFTA CEO, share that frustration and continue to work tirelessly to ensure that creative talent is discovered and supported. BAFTA take this issue seriously, and following this year's nominations, have launched a full and thorough review of the entire awards process to build on their existing work and ensure that opportunities are available to everyone. He went on to present the Fellowship Award to Kathleen, praising her for her remarkable career. While her husband spoke on stage, Kate could be seen watching Prince William avidly from her seat in the audience. The royal couple have made the event an annual date in the diary, with the Duchess also opting for a white Alexander McQueen gown last year. The Duke, who donned a black dinner suit for the star-studded occasion, presented the fellowship to film editor Thal Michoon Maker during the ceremony. In 2018, the couple attended while Catherine was pregnant with baby Louis, and were also guests of honor in 2017. Stars including Scarlett Johansson also pulled out all the stops for the event as she led the glamour alongside Little Women stars Florence Pugh and Say Oyer Sronin, and Renee Zellger. Leading actress nominee Scarlett, 35, borrowed fashion tips from the 1920s in a busty feathered gown as she graced the red carpet with her A-list competitors, Judy star Renee, 50, and Little Women's Say Oyer's, 25, and Florence, 24. 